In the previous part, we took certain junctional complexes. We talked about tight junction, gap junction, interdigitations also. So now we are talking about another a type of junctional complex. And this junctional complex, this is known as desmosome. In desmosomes, the intercellular space increases as compared to the normal space. We said the normal space between the two adjacent cells is approximately 150 angstroms. So if these are two cells, then this is the common space which is present. In case of desmosomes, this space increases. That means the intercellular space becomes wider. And because it becomes wider, the gap between the two cells is now more. So here we have seen that the gap has become bigger. And both the membranes, they secrete proteinaceous cementing material. So here there is a cementing material which is secreted. And this material is secreted by the membranes of the two adjacent cells. And to support this, on the inner side, there are some fibers which extend from this extended part into the cytoplasm. These fibers are known as tonofibrils. So these fibrils, they are called tonofibrils. So in case of uh, desmosome, what happens is this intercellular space, which is a narrow space, becomes wider. There is a cementing material and this cementing material is protein which is secreted by the plasma membrane. So it is a part of the plasma membrane of both the cells and this material comes in the middle and to support this inside the cytoplasm extend these strands which are called tonofibrils. So these desmosomes they act as linkers. So this is another type of modification of plasma membrane which is seen between the adjacent cell and it is helping the two cells to remain together and provide strength with the help of this tonofibril. The next modification is exactly like desmosome but it is without tonofibrils. They are known as terminal bars. So in tone desmosome, there, are, there is this cementing material and uh, tonofibril. In terminal bar, everything is going to be same. That means the space between the cells increases. That is intercellular space gets wider. Here also, this is the other cell. The space becomes wider. And both the membranes, they secrete again that proteinaceous material, but Inside the cytoplasm, there are no tonofibrils. So terminal bars are like desmosomes without tonofibrils. So this is the only difference between these two structures, that is desmosomes and terminal bars. The next modification is, sixth one, plasmodesmata. Plasmodesmata are found in plant cells. So let us first draw two plant cells. This is one plant cell. I'm drawing just one half of it. And this is the other cell. And this middle part we are showing is the middle lamella. Here is middle lamella. And this layer, the blue lines which we have shown, that is the primary cell wall. And if there is a secondary cell wall deposition, then there are areas where the secondary wall is not deposited. So let us label these structures first. This blue part which we have drawn here, this blue thing, this is the primary cell wall. Primary cell wall. And the red line represents the middle lamella middle lamella and the black one thickening is actually the secondary wall this one is 
the secondary. Here there is some deposition which might take place like of pectin, cutin or anything. This is secondary cell wall. We find an area where the secondary wall deposition is not taking place. Through this area, the cytoplasm of this cell and the cytoplasm of the other cell, they are connected. That means there are cytoplasmic strands which are running between the cells. And these cytoplasmic strands, they go through the primary cell wall and the middle lamella, which is together known as the pit membrane. So this line I'm drawing now, these are the cytoplasmic strands. So this is also considered as a modification of plasma membrane. And the function here is, as the second important thing is found in plant cells. And the function is that it helps in exchange of substances between the cells. Exchange of substances between the two adjacent cells. So here also there is a slight modification which is a plasmodus meta. Now these are all junctional complexes. So when we classified these modifications of plasma membrane, the first one which we took was microvilli, which are seen on the free surface. Then we came to the second category that is junctional complexes. Junctional complexes are those which are found between the adjacent cells. Now we are taking the third category after junctional. Junctional complex was the second category. Third category means something different. We can uh, take the example here of glycocalyx. Glycocalyx is an additional layer which is found outside the plasma membrane, but it is attached to some parts of the plasma membrane. Let us draw this plasma membrane structure. This is the phospholipid bilayer and there are extrinsic and intrinsic proteins. So here we are drawing these extrinsic proteins and this is the intrinsic protein. Attached to the proteins can be some oligosaccharides. So attached to this protein is say an oligosaccharide. So now this complex which is formed has protein and oligosaccharide. This complex is known as glycoprotein. So here the oligosaccharide that is the carbohydrate part is attached to the protein and we have given it a name glycoprotein. Now same thing can happen with the lipid. The oligosaccharide is attached to the lipid. This combination is known as glycolipid. Now they have different functions. Glycoproteins help in cell identification and this plays a very important role during organ transplantation when we use the word like tissue matching. So this molecule has to match and glycolipids they have protective function. That means they protect the cells from whatever is in the surrounding. It could be an enzyme, it could be hydrochloric acid. So these are protected. So if we see the plasma membrane from outside, just drawing a line representing plasma membrane, what do we see here? We see certain oligosaccharides attached. Now these oligosaccharides can be attached to the protein on the inner side or lipid on the inner side. So there is a coat kind of a thing which is seen outside the plasma membrane. That is known as glycocalyx. And glycocalyx has also been given one name. They are also known as cell coat because it appears as if there is an additional layer. But this additional layer is formed only when oligosaccharides are attached to the plasma membrane, either to lipids or to proteins. Glycocalyx word we also uh, come across when we are talking of bacteria. But in bacteria, glycocalyx word is given only to that gelatinous capsule which is found outside. So that, that has nothing to do with plasma membrane. 
here we are talking in respect to the actual phospholipid protein plasma membrane where oligosaccharides are attached to it. The next modification of plasma membrane is known as a sheath. Now sheath is nothing but an extension of plasma membrane around the exoneme. In case of cilia and flagella, whenever the cilia and flagella, they arise from the plasma membrane, they arise from this basal granule and they emerge like this. Cilia and flagella, they have 9 plus 2 arrangement of microtubules. These threads, they are called exoneme. Around this, at the base of a cilium or a flagellum, plasma membrane stretches and covers the base of the cilium or flagellum. So this covering of cilium and flagellum and it is found only at the basal part of cilia or flagella. That stretch or that extension of plasma membrane is known as sheath. So these are the modifications of plasma membrane and depending upon where these modifications are found, we classify them as whether they are on the outer free surface between the adjacent cells or some other kind of modifications. We can also include pore in this. That is, plasma membrane has pores. And the detail of that pore we normally talk of when we talk of the nuclear pores. So the fifth modification can be pore. These are the tiny structures where there are proteins which are acting as channel proteins are present and through this, the substances can enter into the cell. The pore size is 7 to 10 angstroms. And this was given by Danieli and Davson. We have already discussed this when we were talking about the sandwich model of plasma membrane. So these are the modifications of plasma membrane.